Dubbed Our Lady of the Ladle in 1966 by Time Magazine, Julia Child was a cultural phenomenon who introduced America to French cooking. Julia was the face of cooking. It was the first time seeing a woman out of a home kitchen as a professional being strong and powerful and playful. Julia really changed cooking in the United States because she took it from being drudgery to being a joy, the joy that it should be. Julia Carolyn McWilliams was born on August 15, 1912, in Pasadena, California. Her mother had a cook, as did all their friends and neighbors. So there was no interest in cooking. There was interest in eating. And Julia, who grew to be six feet two inches tall, was always ravenous. I was always tremendously hungry. I, my theory was that the more you ate at every meal, the better off you were. During World War II, Julia was stationed in Asia where she met Paul Child in 1945. That's also when she fell in love with food, Chinese food. They would go to restaurants and they talked about food as they were eating it, and that was very different for her. A year later, they were married. She realized that the man she'd fallen in love with, Paul Child, was one of those people who adored food. After World War II, Julia moved to Paris when her husband was assigned to work in the American Embassy there. Joey was looking for a career, and it was suggested because she was so passionate about learning to be a good cook for Paul's sake that she should go to the Cordon Bleu. I think when Julie first attended the Cordon Bleu, she did create a revolution. Not only was she a woman, she was an American woman, and uh, she was bound and determined to prove that she could do this, and she did. While living in Paris, Joey got the idea of writing a cookbook and teaching cooking in her own apartment from two women who were doing that. She started working with them on their book, and the three of them would alternate classes for American women in their respective apartments. After many years of collaborative work, the two-volume, 734-page cookbook was published in 1961. Mastering the Art of French Cooking was groundbreaking because it was one of the first books to present everything in a step-by-step -step approach, which made it easy for people to follow and learn. Julia got her start on TV at the public television station in Boston when she was on as a guest promoting her cookbook. They got so much of a response that they asked her to come back and do a cooking show. The French Chef was the first nationwide cooking show. Julia Child's attitude was great for amateur cooks. The way she was carefree and if you make a mistake, it's okay, just keep going, move on. Julia's presence on TV is what really made her the face of cooking in America. There was no one like her back then and honestly, I don't believe there's anyone like her today still. In 1993, Julia Child became the first woman inducted into the Culinary Institute Hall of Fame. In 2000, the Smithsonian National Museum of American History moved her kitchen and made it part of their permanent exhibit. One of Julia's greatest gifts was she helped to spark an outcry for better ingredients. We talk about locavores today, we talk about sustainable and organic, and um, all of these are the names that are given to what I think Julia started. I think Julia brought to America about changing the way we thought about cooking. It wasn't a job that just had to be done quickly in the kitchen. It was really about having a great time, being in there with friends, with family, and enjoying the process. In 2004, Julia Child died. There's no question in my mind, she changed the face of cooking in this country.